There's a saying here in Texas about someone being all hat and no cattle. At the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, plenty of people have both hats and cattle. But more than 80% of Texans now live in urban areas. The rodeo gives them a chance to get into the cowboy spirit. Women especially seem to enjoy it. I love western wear and I love the rodeo and I normally come like 10, 12 times. You need a hat for the rodeo, dress up for the rodeo. I wanted to go to the concert and I wanted to dress like this. If you don't have a hat, there are plenty on sale. You can even have one custom made by Oklahoma City's Shorty Kroger, but you'll have to wait. Yeah, we're five months out right now. But if you just made one hat, it would take a full week. This woman is trying on hats that are made of beaver fur. Kroger says they last a long time. If you need your hat cleaned and reshaped, John Garcia is the man. He steams them. It gives us the ability to change the hat's shape tighter or dip it down a little bit more. Kansas rancher Harold Ralston knows how to judge a cowboy's hat. If their hat's nice and clean, you know, it just came out of the box like this one. I got this one when I retired. Another fellow who has spent years under a cowboy hat is movie actor Buck Taylor. He also paints western scenes and sells them at events like this. And cowboys never ridicule or make fun of anyone that wears cowboy hats they want to. Taylor was a regular on the TV series Gunsmoke in the 1970s. He loves the old western styles like those shown in his painting of rodeo riders a century ago. They were more flamboyant back there. I think we've kind of mellowed a little bit compared to these guys. But. Taylor says people who put on western wear for events like the rodeo are keeping that heritage alive. So even if you don't have any cattle at the rodeo, at least you can wear a hat. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.